Well, it's the afternoon feature in behind the Sherry's Heating Service starting gate. Back upstairs to the call with Vance Cameron. Eagle Joe Plumetto Willie. No great mischief outside the wire. JR's Hurricane. Motor Reno. Acting oh so royal painted desert. Top of the stretch. Here they come. There they go. They're off and pacing outside the wire alongside. That is JR's Hurricane. Third as they make their way to the turn towards the inside. That is Eagle Jolt coming forth now as they race over to that opening eighth on the front end. Outside the wire will lead JR's Hurricane. Motorino got away third. Eagle Jolt fourth. Blue Metal Willie fifth. No Great Mischief sixth. Acton Oso Royal is seventh. And the trailer is painted desert, so they arrive at the opening quarter, led by outside the wire. In line to Brian McPhee today, the quarter mile in 29 and 1. JR's Hurricane rounding the turn, second, Motorino third, Eagle Jolt fourth, Blue Metal Willie fifth, no great mischief sixth, then racing from seventh as they come off the turn, painted desert, now the trailer, that's acting oh so royal, the backfield in motion as they arrive at the opening half mile, outside the wire is there, second is JR's Hurricane, there goes Eagle Jolt on the outside, now moving up third, Fourth at the rail is Motorino, the half mile in 59 and 3. Racing from fifth is no great mischief. Six on the outside, painted desert. Blue Metal Willie back to seventh. And the trailer is acting oh so royal. Up the back stretch, outside the wire, the leader. Eagle Jolt draws alongside. Third on the rail, JR's Hurricane. No great mischief, now up into fourth. Motorino at the rail, fifth. On the outside, Painted Desert, 6th, 7th, Acton Oso Royal, Blue Metal Willie now is the trailer, 3 quarters in 129 and 4, just an eighth of a mile left to go, outside the wire still there, Eagle Chold on the outside, 2nd, up the rail is JR's Hurricane, no great mischief on the far outside, deep in the stretch now, outside the wire, JR's Hurricane getting there to upset them and triple up Kenny Murphy today. Two minutes, one fifth. Well, it seems to be the theme of the afternoon, and that's close finishes here in Summerside. The racing action is always exciting. This is an interesting setup here, the way this thing starts to play out. And uh, you're saying, watching, as watching it unfold here, J.R.'s Hurricane just had the perfect trip here. Murphy did a good job getting away here from post five, getting this horse well spotted. Outside the wire, laid down the fraction of 29 and 1, 59 and 3. This horse put in a big trip here today, 129 and 4. You can see them fanning in through the stretch here. It's going to be J.R.'s Hurricane. Waiting for that passing lane, Murphy dives to the inside. You've got Ch Campbell out there as well, also in the mix. Acton also Royal, no place to go. You get Chivery flying on the outside of it, no great mischief. Running out of real estate, and he knows it. And Mark Bradley's flying out there too. Another great finish here through the stretch. So you can see it unfold in the slow-mo. Photo light is up. It's 5-4-3-1 posted. That's unofficial. Well, beneath all that mud, you'll find a smile, and that smile belongs to Kenny Murphy today as he takes the 12th race featured aboard the five-entry JR's Hurricane. A bay-pacing gelding six, but Mach 3 off the Cam Luck Cam El Nino. 
Old in Train by Jean Bellabeau from Skidook, New Brunswick. Kenny Murphy has his third winner today. That's the hat trick. Time for the mile in two minutes, one fifth. JR's Hurricane triples up Kenny Murphy in a 12th race upset.